Welcome to week 7. We are now on module 4 for quarter 1. This is your science teacher, Mrs. Mary Jane T. How are you today? I hope we are all good. Are we good? Yes, that's good. In this module, we have two objectives. We have to describe the possible causes of plate movement and recognize the process of conviction current in the mantle. I hope you already watched Sir Janus of Einstein Natics video so we can have a more interactive and engaging session today. I hope you already watched Sir Janus of Einstein Natics video so we can have a more interactive and engaging session today. Heat transfer. Since heat is a thermal energy, it could be transferred from one medium to another either by conduction, convection, or radiation. Remember, our contention is that heat flows from hot to cold and second Heat flows only when there is a difference in temperature. Let's try this drill. Determine if the heat transfer is via conduction, convection, or radiation. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. This is heat transfer by convection. From the flame below, heat transfer to the pan. So the medium is air. Then from the bottom of the pan to the liquid. What about this? Warming of spoon. Let us assume that this is a sequate. Very hot sequate. As heat travels from the hot liquid to the metal spoon, it is, you're right, convection. From spoon to the rest of the spoon, Yes, it is now conduction because the movement is now from solid particles to solid particles. What about that? Rising of hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. This transfer of heat energy away from the ground by the vertical movement of air is called free convection or natural convection. A hot air balloon rises because warmer air is less dense than cool air. Since the balloon is less dense than the, than the air around it, it becomes positively buoyant. What about that one? Burning of wood. Combustion breaks down complex molecules like wood into simpler ones like carbon dioxide, liberating heat energy in the process. The chemical reaction of the fire itself, known as con combustion, is the primary method of heat transfer. Heat energy reaches you through, through, like for example, you are in a campfire, through convection, right? Melting of ice is time. The question then becomes, what causes the ice to melt? If it is from the sun, then it is radiation. What? Now that we know that heat is being transferred, the next question would be, how do plates move? And why? Look at this laboratory setup. So there you have the wood block, the water in a beaker. I'm sorry for the spelling. That's B-E-A-K-E-R. What happened to me? That's beaker. And then, of course, the hot plate. So this is an activity we call the lithospheric. Now let us examine and analyze the illustration. Look at that. Okay, as the hot plate increases its temperature what is going to happen to the bottom of the beaker mm -hmm. and then to the water molecules 
and eventually to the wood block. So, in this illustration, what represents the plates? Hmm? Correct, it is the wood block. What represents the mantle? See, 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 look at illustration. Yes, it's the water. And third question, where is the heat source? Or what is the heat source this time? So that is, of course, the hot plate. Okay, let's proceed. Why are the blocks of wood floating? What do you think? Yes, correct. The blocks float because of buoyancy. Recall that buoyancy is the force exerted by the liquid, the, by the fluid on the wood, which is opposite to the force exerted by the fluid. So there is action reaction. So remember your physics lesson. Next question, which part of the water has a greater density? Look at that. Uh, imagine na nag-boil na. Water is now boiling. So, what do think? The water on top or the water at the bottom? Lesser density? Yes. The cool water, syempre, is denser than the hot water. So, as hot water rises, cooler water will be displaced. So, this causes movement of the water. This is the reason why the block of wood rise and fall. This is like in life, when there are changes around us, sometimes we fall, sometimes we rise. But that is not actually the, what really matters, not how many times you, you fall. What really matters is how many times you rise up every time, every time you fall. Remember that. Palaban tayo, sanhay. Okay, look at the illustration. Let us try to recall the explanation of Sir Juna, uh, Jonas in his video. Uh, how he explained conduction current. Look at that. Slab pull. Do you remember that? The push ridge. Okay, so heat coming from the core increases the temperature in the mantle. Of course, uh, let us recall that the core solid, no? Uh, you have there, as mentioned by Sir Jonas, there is that, is that Janus? Jonas, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, that the radioactive decay of the elements, particularly uranium and, and, and what's that? Thorium. Okay, releases heat. Uh, heating the the core so the mantle is actually fluid no so as heat coming from the core increases the temperature in it increases the temperature in the mantle so magma pushes itself up pushing the lithospheric plates look at that lithospheric plates are being pushed up this is what we call ridge push so when when lithospheric plates move in up because they they are push no, they are push away from each other so that's what we call ridge push so as the old oceanic crust okay move away from the ridges materials cool down and become denser where of course gravity would pull no the, so gravity now takes into action so nag subduct there is a subduction there the so you can see that trench okay so okay let's try how far have you understand Arrange the following events in the mantle convection process. So use numbers 1 to 5. What do you think is the first event? A, B, C, D, E. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, you are right. 
it would be B. The decomposition of radioactive elements in the core causes the heat. Okay. So there you are. The decomposition of radioactive elements causes the heat in the interior part of the earth. Then what happens next? As heat accumulates in the core. Correct. The core heats up, syempre. Then, what happens to the heat? Yes, correct. Heat slowly rises to the mantle and creates convection current. Okay. So, we shall proceed. So... You have there the decomposition of one, the decompose of radioactive elements which heat up the, the interior part of the earth, then heat moves to the core, then of course heat slowly rises to the mantle and creates convection current. So what happens next when mantle starts to have this convection current? Correct. If the spheric plates, which is just on top of the asthenosphere, move due to the rising and sinking of materials, and of course, the process repeats as a cycle. Okay. So, in your in your SLM, it is the answer is sinking of magma, rising and sinking of magma. So when it sinks, it's no longer magma. Pero pag nakarating na siya, it reaches the, the, the mantle, it again becomes magma. Okay? So there you are. You have four. One, three, two, five. In other words, materials on earth do not really decrease. Do not really decrease through the years, through billions of years because of this cycle. I hope you put that in your in your heart. Okay, about to end. To recap, convection is a kind of heat transfer caused by differences in density and temperature of a gas, fluid or molten rock. So hot fluid materials rise because they are less dense while cold fluid materials sink because they are more dense in the mantle the repeating rising and sinking of materials creates a convection current driving the little spheric flights that tried on asthenus first to move slowly and constantly thank you this has been a great day for all of us Thank you for watching and this is again this is Mom Jane P. See you on the next video lesson. Enjoy answering your activities and as well as the assessment. I would like to give credits to where credit is due sempre for this presentation for the slides mania, which is introduced to me of course by the Kaagapai. The images are from Unsplash and of course from the Google, uh, Google, sa Google, <laughs> and, of, and the references, your self-learning module, quarter one, module four, please, please visit also your SLM, it's already posted in your, the e-room, and I would like also to thank Sir Janos of Einstein parang wrong spelling, Einsteinatics educational video.